uh, reflect upon the creation and upon our own creation, we come to the conclusion that this creator must be wise. Let us analyze that. For example, the eyebrows. We have eyebrows above our eyes. Why? Protect us from the sweat. Because sweat contains the salt. And if it keeps going to your eyes, it will damage it. So the one that put the eyebrows here shows you what is wise. We have a nose next to our mouth. Before we eat, what we do? We smell food. You see what I'm saying? But we have also eyes in the front of us, not the back. Why? Because you walk forward, not backward. You see what I'm saying? You have a teeth in your mouth, not in your ears. Why? Because you eat with your mouth. So you have a joint in your elbows. Why? Because to, in order for you to utilize, your, to utilize your four arms to give and take and eat and do whatever you need to do. So clearly this creator must be the all wise. Likewise to this tremendous, beautiful universe. One of us goes to the shopping center like Westfield. Yeah. When you go to Westfield and you start looking at it, yeah. you say that is a beautiful place. This person who made this uh, Westfield must be wise. What about the one who made that? Made that person? Yeah. What about the creator of the heavens and the earth? So he, one of the points he was saying as well yeah. is that we have free will, yeah. but you know, we, we, if we choose the wrong person or the wrong religion to follow, we'll burn in hell. Is that what you believe? No, I, I, I believe as a Muslim, Allah clarified this. Allah said in the Quran, Allah, in the meaning of the verse, Allah will never punish any people That's what until the proof becomes clear to them. Do you believe that we can be forgiven? If we say one person is um, follow Judaism, one person follows Islam, one person follows Christianity, one person is a Hindu, do you believe we can be forgiven if we accept the truth in okay. the final phase of life? Well, we say that Allah mentioned the Quran that the biggest sin against the Creator is associate partners with Him. And this sin cannot be forgiven again with a condition that you knew about it yeah. and no one clarified the truth to you what if you didn't know yes yeah, so i'm saying if you didn't know yeah, yeah. The, the message of our said about people who never heard the message when they die yeah. on the day of resurrection god yeah. will test them yeah. allah said in the quran Wama rabbuka abid. your lord does not oppress his servants allah mentioned the quran may if I, may, uh, uh, what your lord is going to do with you by punishing you allah wants you to follow his way yeah. however Allah, one of his names is the, is the most just. Allah sent the Quran, Are we going to make equal those who disbelieve to those who believe? How can you judge? You understand? Before we go to that, I just go back to the main point here. So what I would say, uh, Ryan, yeah? What I would say, Ryan, therefore, the Creator must tell us what is our purpose of life. How the Creator did it, based upon his wisdom and his mercy and justice, he chose people amongst us. Why is amongst us? Why is not from the birds? Why is not from the animals? Why is not from the bees? Because in order to interact with the person. Yeah. But again, because the Creator is the most wise, the most wise, the all-knowing. When He chose people amongst us, He did not just tell them, go convey the message that there is a reason for your creation and that is the reason. Without giving them clear proofs and evidences to establish the prophets of God. So how can we, because God knows, some people they will claim to be prophets of God and they are liars. You would miss praying? So how can we differentiate between the two? Let us analyze that. One of the characteristics of a prophet of, of God, the message of God, must be truthful and honest. Why? I'll tell you why, why. Imagine you and I, we know someone, he's a liar, big liar. Then he comes to us, he says, Shamsi, Ryan, I'm a prophet of God. Both us say, hold them in there. You should be the last person to say who you are. You're the biggest liar. Yeah, yeah. Why? You and I will have excuse to reject him. And God cannot judge us. Why? This man is the biggest liar. He's just elevated. That's why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala chose only those who were known amongst their society and nations to be truthful, honest. The likes of Jesus, Moses, Abraham, Noah, Jacob, Isaac, Jeremiah, Jesus, uh, Jesus Ishmael, and Muhammad. So pay, pay attention Ryan, yeah? they come with the same foundation. What is the foundation? Believe in your creator. There's a reason for you. Believe in the, the, the guidance and the, uh, of the prophet that came to you. The other one, they come with the prophecies. Prophesizing about the future. I don't have to speak about the prophets of before. If I establish with the logical arguments, with the clear evidences and the proofs that Prophet Muhammad is a true prophet, logic dictates you should believe what he came with. Correct? To make it clearer to you, Ryan. Imagine someone comes to me, a doctor, and he said, you know, Shamsi, I know your problem, the disease that you have. And I said, you know what, I accept, and I believe that you do know. So logic dictates I should I follow his advice. 
Yeah. If I say, you know what, I'm, uh, forget you. People think you're dumb. Yeah. If you accept that he's a doctor and he knows the problem of you, logically speaking, you should follow up with his, implementing his advice, yeah. okay? So let me ask you, who knows the future in details? Nobody knows the future. Except the creator. Because yeah. why? In order for me to make a phone, I have to have a knowledge how to make a phone in details. That's why no one knows about the phone in details except the maker. Okay, logical argument. Now, Prophet Muhammad as a Muslims, we don't just believe Prophet Muhammad is a true prophet because he was an Arab or because he's named Muhammad. No, because we have a tangible proofs and evidences that we can share with everyone to come to conclusion based upon your intellect and natural inclination that Prophet Muhammad is a true prophet. One of them, he said there will come a time when the Arab Peninsula will turn into rivers and to gardens. Look, hey, 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 I want to point the camera as well. This is Saudi. Let me show it to Brother Do you know what Galatians Saudi was a pure desert. Let alone you see rivers and gardens. So the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi he said, he said it will go back how it was before. You understand? Now exactly, Muruj and Anhara, Barakallahu, just a quick word as the Brother mentioned. Muruj and Anhara, rivers and gardens and so on. So uh, there was no any indication to indicate that. The geologists, yeah. They said the Arab Peninsula, million years back, was what? Was rivers and gardens. So at the time Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu there was no any indication. A pure desert. You see what I'm saying? It's 50, 50 degrees. A donkey can't live there. <laughs> Instead, he has to go somewhere else. You see? So how he knew that? That knowledge of the Creator. Another one, Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, will come a time when you see the barefoot Arab man who compete in building tall buildings. When the Prophet Muhammad mentioned that Ryan, Ryan yeah, there was no any indication to indicate they would do that. Because at the time of the Prophet Muhammad those who were known for building tall buildings are the Persians, the Egyptians, the Romans and the Greeks. Maybe you know the, where is the tallest building in the world? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You see what I'm saying? That is a powerful thing. Yeah. And the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, what he said, they will compete with one another. So I'm saying, another one I will give you. Allah mentioned the Quran to Prophet Muhammad Alaihi Wasallam, that your name, O Muhammad, or likewise the description, has been mentioned in the previous books. Okay? We can go back now to the Old Testament, Isaiah 42. Isaiah 42. This is speaking about the servant coming to glorify the Lord. Okay? He said, Behold my servant whom I uphold, my elect one, in whom my soul delights. I have put my spirit upon him. He will bring forth justice to the, to the Gentiles. The Gentiles are the non-Jews. And we know from Jesus backward, that most of them came to the Israelites. So this after Mo Moses, if after Solomon, okay, Isaiah. Go, he goes on to say, I want to focus. He mentions here many, many characteristics. Let the witness and its cities lift up their voice. The villages that Kida inhabits. Let the inhabitants of Sila sing. Do you know who's Kida? We go to Genesis 25 13 and it will tell you who is Kida. Genesis 25 13. And these were the names of the sons of Ishmael by their names. According to their generations, the firstborn Ishmael Nabiyot. Then who? Keda. Hold on a minute. Is he speaking about Keda? Yeah, yes. <laughs> the village that Keda inhabits. Yeah. Can you Google Sela? Mountain Sela. I will show you where is the mountain Sela. So, to show you, Ryan. Watch this. That's why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned the Quran. When Allah sent the prophets and messengers, He would send them with the ayat and bayinat. Where is ayat and bayinat? Proves and the clear evidences that you and I we cannot dismiss it, except if we are arrogant and we should not blame no one on the day of resurrection except ourselves. Because one of the, the biggest crimes against the Creator to turn away from His teaching and to worship someone besides Him. Mountain Silla. Mountain. Mountain Silla, where? In Medina, Saudi Arabia. So who, historically speaking, from the Muslims and the non-Muslims, yeah. when the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam came to Medina, the people rejoiced. This mountain is, is not even, it's like, it's not that far from the mosque of the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So no one feed this 
cried Syria except Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So we see clearly that Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Allah mentioned the Quran to, to Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Your name and description has been mentioned in previous books. We can go back and check it. This book backdates Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam 1,000 years. So no one can tell me Prophet Muhammad was alive that time. He wrote it and he died and he came back to life. He said my name. You understand? Some people they act to be a dumb. So the point here is, doesn't fit no one except Prophet Muhammad. Likewise, the prophecies. Ryan, I want to ask you a question. Maybe you have the answer for it. Oh, no. Do you know any book, the size of the Quran? The size of the Quran. Yeah. It has been memorized. Listen carefully, yeah? Ryan. Do you know any book, the size of the Quran? It has been memorized by hundred million of people who doesn't know, speak the language of the book. For example, I'll make clear. It's like you and I, we memorize this book in Chinese, yeah. but we don't speak Chinese. That doesn't happen. You know, Allah sent the Quran about Quran. We have made Quran easy to be memorized. Is there any reminder for those who take a hit? We know that there is children in China, children in Africa, children in Asia, including China, of course, children in Europe, children in America, memorize the Quran yeah. word by word, letter by letter. That cannot be the word of Muhammad. Why? Yeah. Because Prophet Muhammad doesn't have that knowledge to say this book, many people will memorize it. Cannot be. That is the word of who? Of the Creator who knows about his creation. He knows that this book, many of people will memorize it. So we see clearly that Prophet Muhammad his prophecies is being prophesied. I will tell you, look, I'll give this example all the time. What do you think I said so far to you? Does it make sense to you? Is it clear to you? So that's the problem. Well, I will tell you, if I give you two million pounds, Ryan, and I say, Ryan, I really like you, we have a nice discussion, you are a respectful person, a person of honor, take two million pounds, take care of yourself. What would you say to me at least? Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> would you remember me all the time? Of course. Of course, two million pounds, bro. When you buy a nice car, Shamsi. A nice house, Shamsi. In a, you're on a swimming pool, Shamsi. Now, I will give you two million pounds, Ryan, on a condition, give me your two eyes. No, I'll keep my eyes. So I'm saying, your them. eyes is more valuable than two million pounds. Yeah. So why don't you remember and thank the one who gave you two eyes for free? Okay, that's a good point. See, good point. that's what Allah said in the Quran. Yeah. Wa in la tahsua. If you try to count Allah's blessings, yeah. you will never be able to do so. Now we know, as the Messenger of Allah said in the Hadith. That, that's why we pray, right? That's why we go to church. So I'm saying, like I, I go to the mosque. Yeah, yeah, you so I'm saying, mosque. we you pray to God. Of course, we give thanks and we appreciate Him. Exactly. But that's, that's the first part. The first part we know, naturally, that we should worship the Creator. The second part, how? The question I will ask you, Ryan, if you want to buy a gift, Ryan, would you buy a gift? Imagine you want to buy a gift for your mother. Would you buy a gift that your mother loves or the gift that you love? My mom loves. No. Likewise, the way we worship the Creator, the way He loves, not the way we love. That's why He sent the prophets and the messengers. And all of them came with the same teaching, worship your God, the Creator of the heavens and the earth, and that which is between them. You understand? And what I will say to you, I will invite you to accept Islam and to become Muslim. What I will say to you, look, one day, one day, we're going to set before Creator. This stuff is a bridge. No one build a house on the bridge. Bridge is used to cross from one side to the other side. Correct, right? Likewise, this stuff is like a bridge. So one day, we're going to set before the Creator. Allah, who is more unjust than the one who turns away from his God and from the signs of God? The, 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 this beautiful, well-designed signs and the legislative signs accept the oppressors and will take our revenge. That's why you have a choice now to accept the truth or to reject Abraham. Before Abraham, there was many prophets. Now the last of them is Prophet Muhammad Wasallam. And you know what Prophet Muhammad said? He but said Jesus this religion, is coming. Uncle, he said, he said this religion. Jesus is coming said, according to the Bible, according to the okay, Quran. Okay, go for him. What according to him? the Quran <laughs> and according to the Bible. Speaking. Why are you there? Okay. I'm saying, look, Prophet Muhammad said in the hadith, and this prophecy, we can see it clearly now. Yeah. Oh, there's a verse in the Quran. Allah said, "Who will let the Arsal Rasul be Huda?" Now, Allah mentioned before that, "You read on and you feel no Allah be afwaim." Wallahu mutimunore, walau kari al kafirun. They want to stop the light of Allah with their mouths, and Allah will spread His light, Islam, even if disbelievers dislike it. He is He's the one who sent Prophet Muhammad with a true religion in order for Islam to prevail or other religions. We know the fastest growing religion on the face of the earth, especially in the West, is Islam. 
even though we're not, we're, not, we're, not, we're, not, we're, not, we're not forcing no one. God does not with a knife need or with quantity, a spoon even or with a gun. Quality. People accepted Islam. Rather, in Britain, God, majority of God people accepted Islam quality. are women. women yeah. And we know that there's many lies about Islam, that Islam oppressed women. And we see British women, English women who have freedom, they, they want to do whatever they like, but they turn away from that life and they accept Islam because they know the true happiness and the true freedom when you worship your Creator. So I will tell you, you, you said it makes sense to you, is it clear to you? Oh, if I ask you this question, or do you have any question for me first? No, I'm just, I'm just absorbing everything I, I you're saying. I will tell you, what is stopping you to accept the truth? What is stopping you to accept the truth? Because you want to worship your God, correct? Yeah. So, but go on. I, I, I don't want to accept somebody's version of the truth. Or oh. I know what you're saying. So you want to study more? Yeah, I want to study more. I can't just say I accept straight yes, away. Yes, yes. I want to come to my own conclusion. No doubt, no doubt. I read this, I read this. No doubt. This, this person, this is that no, person. No problem, no doubt. No? What I would say to you, look, that's why if you noticed, I made a logical argument yeah. and a rational argument. Yeah. And I asked you, what do you think? I never said, that's it. Yeah. So, and he said, it makes sense to you, it's clear to you. Yeah. Understand? That's what I always do. But what I would say, I will give you a book and you read it. And you see? But I would say, if there is a truth in one thing, the absolute truth, therefore whatever opposes that truth cannot be the truth. Oh, there's that's not the absolute truth because there is no way there's two absolute truth and they go against each other. That's why the way we know the prophets and messengers that all of them came with the same teaching. Because imagine Moses came worship a chicken, then uh, Abraham said worship a monkey, then uh, Prophet Muhammad came said worship a donkey. No, 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 this is a joke. No, you see no, what I'm saying? That. that is a joke. But the fact that all of them say worship mm. God, the Creator of the heavens and the earth, and that which is between them that indicate, as one of the scholars mentioned, that it, that itself is the evidence that all those prophets and messengers came from the same Creator. Why? They never met each other while they were preaching on the earth, but they came yeah, with the Moses same teaching, worship the God of Abraham. You understand? Moses so, never spoke of but Muhammad. I will say to you, Satan Shaitan tried to tell you, it's not the time, it's not the time, but if it's clear to you, it makes sense to you, then what you dictate? So I have to accept the truth. Hey, Christianity, God, yeah, Sahih Muslim. became a baby. Uh, Sahih Bukhari. Someone had to take care of him. Yeah. He had to change his nappy. Doesn't make any sense. Because why? God why is self-sufficient. Yeah. God has not given him. Ryan, explain. let me ask you. Explain. If I tell you God is the most high, which we know, the God is the strongest. God is the biggest. God is the greatest. Yeah. But guess what? Someone had to take care of him. Okay. Doesn't make any sense. Like, I guess, uh, uh -huh. You see what I'm saying? That doesn't make sense Another one. Imagine to the senseless. To be yeah? fair, some people that does not that. make sense to the senseless. But those who himself, understand. A manifestation of himself. So he took a part of himself, yeah. created a baby, gave it to Mary. So he could have someone visual to lead. So just like just like you or you say part of himself, himself. but that's yeah. still yeah. no no none of the Christians no. believe that. that now the Christian because uh, according to the uh, the creed of Isaiah when I see the creed anyone believe that is a heretic they don't believe that they don't believe God took something part of himself and he made it to a baby no they believe there's three gods they believe the Father is God Jesus is God and the Holy Spirit is God then they believe one of them became a baby but guess what in the Bible says in Malachi say I the Lord I do not change. So uh -huh. there's two things. There's what God is and what God does. What God is does not change. You with me? What God does, yes. God he forgives so and so and maybe he punished so and so. God he spoke to Moses, but he never spoke so, to me. God why he punished, is changing, I'm gonna speak, I'm gonna speak. God punished some, God, God destroyed uh, 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 what they call it, the people of Lut, but he never destroyed Britain. So God does, that's, that's called God's actions. But what God is, if someone say what God is, all knowing. Does it change become ignorant? That's contradiction. You see what I'm saying? God is all powerful. Does it change become weak? That's not the same God's all powerful all the time. God, the creator of the heavens and the earth and that which is between them. Does he become created? That's contradiction. So if we establish what God is, does not change, then the question we ask ourselves, if they believe God became a baby, was he a baby before or he was God? If he was God, then when he became a baby, he had to change. So Ryan, you know what I'm saying? One of the miracles of Islam, which is, it goes in line with a sound intellect and natural inclination. For example, when you look to the Old Testament, God commanded one of the prophets 
to kill babies and infants and children. Why? What is the reason? The reason being because their forefathers did something. Allah said the Quran, Allah will never punish a people for the sins of someone else. A person must say, Shamsi, what about natural disaster? Natural disaster, God never taught us. The reason He caused it because of the sins of our great great grandfather. Natural disaster, when God does it, doesn't mean it's a punishment all the time. Sometimes it's a test. You with me? But in that passage, is about, I'll show you here. I'll show you. Imagine infants. Infants and the babies, God sent us to kill it. That's why I don't believe this is the word of God. Uh -huh. Because God will not tell us to kill what babies did, uh, and infants. That's uh, why that that Allah will never punish a people because of someone else's sins. When Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala do something like a natural disaster. When something happens, if we don't know the reason, we say Allah knows best, but we know Allah is the all wise, the most merciful and the most just. For example, sometimes you see things happen in the universe that we cannot understand. I will conclude with this. Okay. Sorry, forgive me. Okay. Thank you for giving me the time. Torah. I take your time. Okay, okay. listen to this. Moses, Moses, he said to God, he said, oh God, he said, I see things within the creation sometimes baffle me, you know? So Allah told Moses, stay behind the tree and watch what will happen. So Moses watching, alayhi salatu salam, he saw a man with his horse came to drink from, from the, the, the river. While he was drinking, he dropped a bag of money without realizing, so he left. After uh, uh, the, that person with the horse, a young boy came and he found the bag of money. He drank from the water, took the money and he left. After a young boy, an old man came, blind old man came to drink from the river. The man with the horse, he remembered, <coughs> I dropped my money. So he went back to the uh, river place and he found who? The old man. So he said to him, where is my money? He said, I'm a blind, I can't see. He said, where is my money? He said, I don't know. He pulled out his sword and he killed him. Moses he said, oh God, like, this confusion more. The person who took the money walked free. The one who never did nothing, he was killed. So Allah told Moses, Where did you find this uh, Allah told Moses, Oh Moses, the man that dropped the money and the young boy that took the money. Where did you find this story? I found it in, uh, in Argos. Where in Argos did you find this story? In Argos. Story? In Argos. Where did you find this story? Okay. Let, let him finish the story. No respect, subhanAllah. So Allah told, uh, Allah told Moses, Moses, you see the young boy that took the money? Yeah. His father was working for that man with the horse and he never paid him for his work. So that money, he deserves it, the young boy. As for the old man, he killed the father of the man with the horse. So everyone took what he deserves. deserves. And that's where justice. You with me? So the old man, so that's why. Sometimes, yes, we see things and we cannot, our mind is not criteria for God's actions, but there's something called universal natural inclination which God will know, Allah based upon just puts it in us, that you don't kill a baby, you say, you know what, let me stab you in your eye. Why? If someone asks you why, he, 400 years ago, his great-great-grandfather did something to my father. Hold on What's this? That's what Allah said in the Quran. Your law does not oppress creation. So compare the Quran and compare this book. This book killing babies and children. I'll give you another one. Is from God's nature to rest? No, God does not rest. Is it from God's nature to regret? What is regretting, Raymond? Ray, Ray. Right, sorry. Regret when you're sorry. Yeah. When you imagine, I said, you know what? Imagine I'm this brother. I said, my brother, look after my family. When I leave, he start killing my family. Naam? And I regret, I uh, greatly regret for choosing him to take care of my family. Why? Because my knowledge is deficient. I didn't know what he's going to do. But we here, I the same, you, Muhammad the could same, have done this. The same passages, yeah? the same passages here, yeah. which is, yeah, no, no, Samuel. Here it goes what? It goes, now, now, the word of the Lord came to Samuel, saying, I greatly regret that I have set up Saul as a king, for he has turned, his, uh, turned back from following me. Because a person of intellect and a person with a sound natural inclination, I will give you a book. Does read it and reflect upon it. That's why anyone with a sound intellect look become Muslim. You know why? Because the only religion that makes sense is Islam. No. Naturally, you believe you should be creator. If How? Allah you don't knows everything, Muhammad, you don't have to according, Jesus. To, according, according to you, it's a gift for you. Thank you, Ryan. Ryan. Yeah, Ryan. Ryan, Thanks, please, yeah. it's my pleasure to meet you, bro. Where are you from? Are you from around here? Yeah, yeah. I live in Southport. I live in Southport. 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 Southport.
So I said to Christians, you believe in a Bible, but Jesus in the Bible said, no one knows the day and the hour, not this even the what, ashes in heaven, this is what nor the I son, but only the Father. So this I'm is the saying, question if I Jesus ask, is God, if he should Allah know everything. That a Muslim cannot do 50 prayers. So insult, Why no, did no, he insult, give a 50 prayers? I respect prayers. Jesus. I love Jesus. In Islam, in Islam, if I, if I reject one prophet, if I, if I, if I mock, mock, if I mock Jesus, I'm not a Muslim anymore. Oh, you 